Yo, welcome to another vlog. Today I am going to go snowboarding and I'm going to record it. Like I also had a free day of work and today the weather is a bit better. Right now I'm just waiting for my phone to recharge because I'm probably going to record it with my phone. I don't want to risk bringing my camera along. Maybe if I had a friend coming with me, maybe he could be holding the camera for me. But everyone cancelled, so again, I'm going alone. But I have to make something interesting, so... It's crazy stakes, I'm a shot! Yo, so it's actually a nice day today, look at it! Yo, like have you ever tried not eating for one week? Well, being lonely is just the same, like your stomach hurts so much. So what do you guys think about the American president being elected by Russians? There it is. Like, I know Trump isn't popular in America, but you literally had the choice between like Hillary Clinton or like a businessman who at least has some knowledge in economics. Yes, he's like a joker, he manipulates media, but so what? I mean, like, what's the problem in that? Like, taking care of the country and the people, that's what matters. And I mean, Hillary Clinton would have started definitely, she would have started the war. It would have had a way worse ending, I think. Yo, listen to this. Alright, so the rest I'm going to record with my phone, I'm not going to take my camera with me But, I mean my phone has also kind of a decent quality As you could see, a lot of the bigger ramps were closed off. Also, right now I'm learning to try to do the, like the rails, but the ones that were open were a bit too big for me. Like I'm still learning, and I need smaller ones to try and practice on. I also had an appointment today, so I had to leave a bit quicker. I really like snowboarding. It's my type of thing. I'm going to finish I am going to fucking finish off my camera in just a moment the video with a song that I really like and I think I'm pretty good at so
всяку пройдет. Ай, брудничный свет, алый да рассвет, алый есть то место, алый его нет. Ой, золотая рожь, ой, кудрявый лен, ой, о том, как я в Россию влюблен. Золотая рожь, да кудрявый лен. Мы идем с конем по полю вдвоем. whatever but I really like singing that so <laughs> um, like share and subscribe and see you next time goodbye thank you thank you thank you thank you for all of the likes so far and comments people are reaching out so I really like where it's going I am really hoping that some miracle will happen and that I am going to get my 1k by the end of the month it could it could not who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Alright, quick update. I just got home and I got a letter. Um, basically, uh, they are calling me to the court. Uh, I, will, I will try to keep this video short. I am being called for two things. One being for the fights that I had at the post office. I just got home and like this stuff really woke me up. So oh, seriously, I got like a letter where I am being called to court uh, for two things, like one, the fight that I had in the post office where I used to work. I already made a video talking about what happened there. In short, I started working there to get a contract so I could take a loan, rent a house and start making a family, you know, like progress in my life, building it up. And working there, from what I heard, people were getting their contracts fairly soon and mine was like being delayed constantly and they were like complaining about this or that constantly nitpicking picking out the reasons to like prolong my contract like they were being disrespectful clearly treating me differently than the other colleagues obviously this is just a tactic to get a reaction out of a person which they got from me but i mean i'm not someone who is going to take shit from someone like for over and over and over um and I know that in the court I am pretty much fucked because I am someone who actually cares about emotions and feelings not only for myself but from other pe for other people but the court and justice system that we have here and actually let me also tell you like my, uh, my total story like I was born in Moscow in Russia and as a kid I moved over to Europe and now I live in Belgium Belgium is a small country but I mean one of the most uh, controlled one in terms of um, in terms of laws and, and it's very common when there's like a foreigner that the people here are trying to like make him mad make him angry in some way or another for him to get out that reac reaction that they want and then they use that with along with the laws to like get either money out of that person or like to lock him up or I don't know what they are going to be asking about from me either way I do not want to give them anything in this situation mainly because I think they do this just for fun as I expl and as I explained in my video I have been holding on for a very long time but at the end they just got to me and that's so in the end I fought and another case that I'm being called out for on the same day so me and a group of friends were having like a night out we were chilling in the park in a big city in Ghent and like we were drinking, talking, like we haven't seen each other for a long time and after that we went to the city like where the partying was at we tried to go in like to one club then this bouncer came out and he was like you cannot enter because you aren't wearing decent clothes and I was like like look at these people they were they have costumes and then the police came along they were like you have to leave you're too drunk like basically I went around to block I, I meet it up with my friends again I ordered a beer I went outside we were like talking a guy came from behind me and he like pinched my ass and as he was walking away he like smiled at me and also another common quality about Belgium's they really are faggots and as you know Russians don't really look up to that kind of people but what I did I like had the beer in my hand it was like in a plastic cup I threw it at him he turned around he was like and I could see in his face like he was mad like what the fuck just happened 
and he started charging at me. He started like insulting me. Well, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I told him, like, dude, you are a faggot. Like, you just pinched my ass. Who the fuck does that? Something's totally wrong with you mentally. And basically, he started like pushing me. He started insulting me. And I just calmly told him that if he touches me one more time or if he insults me one more time, I will hit him. What he did is he kept on pushing me. Yes, I did knock a couple of his teeth out, but that's it. Like, I just went away from that moment. I didn't want any fighting. I just tried to get away from that. He kept on following me. In the end, I just went again around the block. Um, I met up with my friends again, which was my mistake. My, uh, another friend of mine was telling, like, I had to leave. Like, the cops were everywhere, and I just, uh, I just stayed there. My own mistake, I know, but the cops basically took me in. I had to spend another night in the police office. So... Yeah. Right now I'm being called out for all of these things. Basically like two fights that I had, right? They are try they will definitely try to portray me as some kind of like loose cannon who's like a maniac who likes to beat up people in his free time. And again, I am very, very bad at arguments. Like I am very bad at discussions. So, and I do not want to take a lawyer because morally I think that I am in my right. I didn't do anything unjust. I've always followed the moral righteous thing. That's why I don't think that I have to rely on a lawyer. Because I know everything that I have done. I know why I have done it. I have nothing to hide. But again, the laws are the laws. They are here to like promote this kind of behavior. Like on a humanitarian way, uh, on, on a humanitarian plane, these people just piss off emotional people. And I have seen this a million times, they piss off emotional people until they break, until they turn negative towards the world, and end up just working in a factory until the day they die. This is a common thing, this is how the country is running. I have noticed this a long time ago, I tried avoiding these people, but hey, like they are literally everywhere. Now the court is going to be on February the 5th, but right now I have to leave, I had an appointment like I said earlier, and... I will, we will see what happens. Like the CDs are ordered. I am planning to going out soon. I guess we'll just see what happens.